Good morning. So I'm going back home to Norwich for a few days. The train is in two hours. No, the train is, oh, not wearing a watch. The train is in an hour and a half, I think. This just happened. How, how did that even happen? <sighs> mm. I should probably be packing and not talking to you. being on my phone. Maybe this is my karma for slagging Bagel Man off. So I'm sorry. Sorry Bagel Man. Back at home now. Nothing's changed at all. Every time I come home, I feel like I change a little bit more every time I come and then nothing really nothing here really changes good old norwich oh highlighter or sweat sweat hello oh <laughs> oh she's going up a spot nice oh love that stretch that looks like a good stretch <laughs> Having fun there. <laughs> oh, hello. So I'm just looking at my old wardrobe and I've just found this random skirt that I've never seen before. And I think it's Levi's, is it Levi's? Um, yeah, yeah, it's Levi's. It's quite cute, I'm not gonna lie. Um, did someone say cute? Ew, what a cute skirt. This is so cute. So cute. The mystery of the cute skirt. I hope I can keep it. So I've just looked at my desk and my mum has put out my old jelly shoes. Aww. They're adorable. <laughs> so I'm just running a bath. Um, probably gonna have lots of baths while I'm here. So I'm gonna have one now. It's like 4 p.m., but why not? I'm dressing this. This is how I have to wash my hair because I have pink hair, if you didn't notice. I do look a bit weird, but... Out the bath, out the bath, <laughs> out of the bath. <laughs> Starting again. Out of the bath now. You know when you just spend way too long in the bath and you feel like you're about to pass out? I came out of the bath and I'm so pink <laughs> and flushed. Cool down now, it's all good. I'm not gonna pass out. I was listening to a really interesting podcast in the bath. Um, it was like an interview with Molly Bloom, who ran the world's biggest celebrity underground poker game or something like that. And her story um, got made into a movie called Molly's Game. And I've seen the film and I loved it. Um, so that was really interesting to hear her story a bit more in depth. Maybe I'll um, show you what the podcast is called and put it right here. Oh, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> are you bored of watching me put on my moisturizer yet? The answer is probably yes, you are. <laughs> so I can't find a pencil. I don't have my trusty pencil with me to separate my parting. Um, so I'm gonna use the end of some tweezers. So I'm about to show my mum my first YouTube video on the big screen. And um, what are your thoughts so far? Well, I like the waves. You like the waves, yeah? Yeah. Nice. I'm surprised it's just me on my way. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh my God. How can you do <laughs> that? How can 
you put on your scalp, honey? Seagulls. Do you have any grapes? Seagulls. Do you think? Probably. I look a bit spotty. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I know I had a spot above my lip, okay? But yes. Thank Aww. you for watching my video. Oh, well done. Aww. Thanks. Thoughts? I'd like to have five minutes. Just waves. So. Just waves? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you? So mum thinks it was a success. It's Yay. A soup, soup video. Mum, I don't cook. Oh. I just had some dinner with my mum. It's been a nice evening and I've just uploaded the, I just uploaded my first YouTube video uh, yesterday and yeah, everyone's just been supportive and had positive things to say, which is really, really encouraging. And yeah, I'm enjoying doing this. beautiful day it is so hot didn't sleep very well last night but i think that's just because i was so awake um <laughs> hello <laughs> oh. <laughs> but today we're gonna go to beckles which is a really nice beach town in suffolk i'm gonna go there for lunch and probably just walk around for a bit oh um, and then I'm going to come back to Norwich and probably meet up with a friend for a catch up. to meet a friend for a drink which will be really nice so I've just changed my top and I don't really know what to do with my hair and everything do I do eyeliner no I never do it so it's probably a big risk if I do it now most likely fuck it up so maybe I'll just change the earrings Go for our hoops instead. Maybe some lip balm. I'm using my mum's fancy lip balm from Estee Lauder. What a treat. Ooh, it's got a pink, bit of a pink shimmery glow to it. That's fun. I'm really lathering this up. I don't know what to do with my hair. I went for some sort of half plait, but eh, it's okay. It's okay, it'll do. Obviously I'm wearing the skirt. This is definitely gonna be my new go-to. <laughs> Bit controversial, gone for double denim. It's kind of too late to change my mind because I'm late. So let's go with this. Hi to the vlog! Hello, I'm oh. Norris! <laughs> Sick, super blind, super oh, blind. Hunger Games! Oh. Woo! Let's fucking go! That. Second word. Crown. Tall. Crown. Queen. Princess. The crown. Princess yeah. Diaries! The third word. Speech. The game speech. Oh, shit. Just gonna add a. 
splash of milk to my ex. Anyone else do that? No, just me. Okay. I feel like it adds a certain fluffiness. Maybe I'm just making it up. I don't know. Last thing to make up for the lost eggs that are on my floor. <laughs> it's 24 degrees full sun. So today I'm going paddle boarding around Norwich City Centre. Who knew you could do that? Not me. It's going to be so fun and we might go to the beach after possibly or we might just go for a picnic. I've always wanted to go paddle boarding in Brighton actually. I never thought I'd end up doing it in Norwich but hey ho. Hey ho. How are we all feeling about paddle boarding? Yeah, Excited? Yeah. First timers over here. Have you done it before? No. Oh, okay. All paddleboard virgins. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> okay, here we go. So we finished paddle boarding. It's very successful. It was bloody amazing. Beautiful. It was beautiful. So the weather was amazing. I'm so glad we did it. It was so hot. Well worth it. Only 20 quid for two and a half hours. And we're now gonna go for a picnic um, in the plantation gardens. Can this day get any busier? Yes, it can. I'm doing one more thing today. I'm going for a drink in town with my friend from today. Um, I'm super tired, but it's gonna be fun. I don't usually do this much in one day, but I'm only home for a couple of days, so might as well squeeze it all in. I cannot get over how good the paddle boarding was today. It was so fun. I'll put the name of it here if you ever find yourselves in Norwich or if you're from Norwich, I highly recommend it. Okay, time for an outfit change. Ta-da! Feeling a little bit fancy. I'm literally pacing it. I am running so late. Hopefully the booking's still there. <laughs> the 
chips came in a bag. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah, spicy. Okay, go on, give me your best bounce. <laughs> oh, oh bounce, no. Bounce, no bounce. No pups. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> I just want to eat my fries and peas. <laughs> I am so tired. I'm literally about to fall asleep. It's 11 pm. Need an early night so bad. But yeah, what a great, busy, busy day. Tomorrow will probably be a lot more chill. I'm definitely in need of it. But yeah, good night. The sun is gone. It's cloudy. So I've woken up with a really sore back. Probably from paddleboarding, I'm guessing. Um, so I'm gonna do some yoga and see if that helps. And just like that, the back pain has basically all gone. Never underestimate the power of yoga. I'm gonna dye my hair because it's faded quite a lot and I kind of prefer it a bit more pink than this. I'm gonna use my little Beach London Odd Fuchsia. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! The only annoying thing about having colored pink hair is that it fades so quickly especially in the sun uh, and the water. Literally, I'd say about 15 minutes in, in the sun, uh, it, it can go back to blonde. Um, so this is my only, my only kind of dilemma with keeping the pink hair, um, is that in the warmer months, I'm basically a blonde girl and I don't really like it blonde. I don't think it suits me. I think it's too much of a contrast to my dark hair. I just wanted the pink. So yeah, that's my hair dilemma that no one asked for. I should really look in the mirror. I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this to develop for about 30 minutes. See you after. It's a lot more pink, which is good. The pinker the better. We're just gonna run some errands in town. We're now gonna head home and dye my mum's hair with henna, which will be fun. Never done this before. Um, I didn't know that it looked like this. I didn't know that it was a powder, <laughs> but apparently we mix the water in, um, mix it all up, wait for it to sort of thicken, and then that's what goes on her hair. Oh my God, it stinks so much. Nice, are you happy with it? Happy. Let's see, give us, give us a little flick. Nice, bit golden, Goldilocks over here. <laughs> so me and mum are just about to start a tv series uh called Ginny and Georgia don't really know what to expect 
it's I think it's about a mother and daughter relationship so that'll be interesting I don't know why my arm is like this what am I doing <laughs> and then I'm just gonna get to bed hopefully get an early night again good morning it is my last day unfortunately i'm heading back to brighton later this afternoon but first i'm going out to brunch this morning with my mum i'm probably going to the most brunchiest place there is in norwich i'm sure if you're from here you can guess and i think last night i said um that i was going to get an early night i did not get an early night i ended up staying up till 2 a.m watching more of Ginny and Georgia. So I was really enjoying it, um, obviously enough to stay up till two. I really liked how, I really generally like when TV shows and films kind of show particular scenes in a much more realistic light. Um, like a lot of the sex scenes, well, I mean, there was like one sex scene, um, but you know, when they cut the music and they just kind of show it as this like raw, almost awkward, more much more realistic uh thing it's way less like romanticized i wasn't expecting this show to be one of those shows that that does do that so yeah might have a new tv show on my hands but yeah let's go to brunch bring stuff back from uni to their home home um, to try and get rid of stuff and make space and then end up going back to their uni home with more stuff. Yeah, that's me every single time. Why do I do this? Oh, hello. Fancy running into you here. Let's go. Bye Norwich. Bye. 